Hey everyone, I haven't done this tag because I thought I did this tag. It sounds a lot like a tag I've done, but I looked through my videos and I haven't. So I thought, why not? Because I can never give you much, too much information about myself, it seems. If you see me looking down, it's because I pulled up somebody else's video to look at the questions. Before I get started, I will warn you, this will probably be a long video. I don't know, but that's my guess. I had initially named a winner for the Sedona Lace brush set. I've sent her um, a personal message. I announced it. I have not heard from her. It's been, I think, a couple weeks now. So um, I'm going to announce a new winner. I tried. I really tried. I'm sorry. But the new winner is Elizabeth Hager, and her screen name is, or her YouTube name is Liz Loves Ryan Forever, which is very sweet. So congratulations, Liz. Um, please send me an email. That email address is down below, and um, let me know that you've got the message, and I'll let you know how you can get your brushes. On to the TMI tag. So, um, okay, question one. What are you wearing? I am wearing my furry vest from Cavenders, my necklace from Moda Luna Boutique. Um, that's where I did that little modeling thing. A really old shirt from Old Navy with a tank from Target underneath, and black, black Target pants. So, oh, and I think these are Target earrings. Oh, and my new obsession, my new bracelet from Bobble Bar, and I love it so much I ordered it in the silver one. I'll put a link to it below. Question two, have you ever been in love? Well, duh. I mean, I've been married 17 years. One would hope so, right? Yes, of course I'm in love. I'm in love, have been in love for almost 20 years now. Three, have you had a ever had a terrible breakup? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of growing up, I guess. Um... I have had a couple. Obviously not the end of the world. How tall are you? I am like a smidgen under 5'4". I'll just say 5'4". How much do you weigh? More than I would like. Let's just leave it at that. Any tattoos? No. I'm not a big fan. I'm sorry. I just, I don't care how trendy they are right now. I'm not a big fan of anything that's trendy and yet it is stuck on you for eternity. No. Any piercings, just the traditional lobes. OTP, really? Who wrote this? Favorite show, ooh, that would be hard. I will say that I'm a fan of TNT. Love, not all of their shows, but many of the shows that I watch, like Rizzoli and Isles, um, I Still Miss the Closer, Major Crimes, um, and USA's Covert Affairs. I love Perception. That's back on TNT. And I, of course, my guilty pleasure are the Real Housewives franchise, specifically New Jersey, Beverly Hills, and Orange County. I think those are the only ones I really watch. Okay. Really, really, you know, important. Stimulating. Oh, Sherlock. Does that count? Because it's more like a tiny little series. Love Sherlock, love Elementary, love Bones. You'd think all I do is watch TV. Um, those are the big ones. Okay. Favorite bands? Um, I'd say probably for a long, long time, The Police and then Sting, but he's not really a band anymore. Um, he's a guy. Maroon 5, love them. I, I can't say that I'm drawn to one particular. I love all kinds of music, so I don't really have a favorite. Something You Miss? I miss lilacs. Where I live, I know that sounds crazy. It said something and not someone. So if it's a thing, I miss lilacs. It's springtime here in San Antonio. And the flowers are starting to bloom. We have mountain laurels, which are lovely, and they smell like grape Kool-Aid, but there's nothing like a lilac, and those don't grow where I live. Um, how old are you? Well, today I'm still 40, but on March 30th, I will be 41. <sighs> Zodiac sign. My zodiac, I am an Aries, and apparently I'm a very classic personality for an Aries. That's my zodiac sign. I don't know what my Chinese, I think I'm an ox, which is also appropriate. Quality you look for in a partner. Well, I haven't looked for a partner in quite a long time. The last time I did, I was 21. So um, something that I admire in my partner, my husband, would be... Um, it would be hard to narrow it down to just one thing. It's a total package. 
I've done a whole thing on what to look for in a spouse. I'll link that video below if you're still looking for a partner, but initially, obviously attraction. Otherwise, you're just hanging out with a buddy. But past that, there has to be more than that. Um, a common sense of how we see the world. I know that sounds very esoteric, but if you can't see the world the same way, you're just constantly butting heads on everything. So, that's that. Favorite quote. I used to have this quote on, on a banner in my classrooms, and it said, I can't get the order right, it's been a while, but it's something like, to do what is right is not always popular, and to do what is popular is not always right. That's one of my favorite sayings. My other favorite is from Margaret Thatcher, who said, power is like being, I'm just paraphrasing, I'm terrible at remembering exact quotes. Being powerful is like being a lady. If you have to tell people you are, then you aren't basically saying your actions should speak from themselves for themselves if you have to tell people what it is that you're doing then and they can't figure that out from your behavior then clearly you're not behaving the way you think you are um favorite actor to look at or <laughs> to watch in a movie like um, I don't know I'm having sort of a Chris Hemsworth thing lately favorite color I love periwinkle I don't own a lot of stuff. I just bought a shirt yesterday from Zara in Periwinkle. I can't wait to wear it. I may wear it tomorrow. Where did I go? Oh, loud music or soft? Oh, most definitely loud. I have a funny story about that. Since we're all gonna be sitting here for a while, my husband, la two cars ago, I blew out the speakers in my husband's car. Um, because I played the music too loud. Honey, I hope you're not watching this because I, I never really admitted that it was me, but, um, we rarely drive each other. He drives my car when we go out as a family, but I rarely drive his car. And one, because it's usually with him at work. And two, um, I have a big SUV and he has little sports cars. And I just, I'm used to being in a big car. So when I get in the little cars, I feel like I'm going to get smushed or I'm going to hit something. But um, a few cars ago, we had a convertible and I like loud music to begin with. And when the top is down, you have to make it louder, right? So I just cranked up those. Yeah, I blew out the speakers. Sorry. Um... Where do you go when you're sad? When I am sad, which is not very often, I'd say more moody or introspective, I will grab a book and go to my room and read. Actually, as long as I'm reading, it doesn't matter where I am. Reading makes me happy. Uh, how long does it take you to shower? Um, if we're talking about shaving legs and washing hair, probably 10 minutes. Um, if I never had to shave my legs again, that would take so much time out of my shower. Like, I joke that if I had an endless supply of money, I would do that laser hair removal from, like, the neck down, just so grooming would not be as involved. Okay. Um, that might be a little more than you want to hear. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, I usually shower at night and let my hair air dry and then have to, so if I would just straighten it real fast, slap on some makeup, probably half an hour altogether. But I don't like to rush. Like, I could take 45 minutes, I could take an hour, because I'm watching videos, I'm talking on the phone. It's a whole thing. I get the kids off to school and then I come home and get dressed. Like, yes, I'm one of those moms that takes their kids to school in their pajamas. So, there you go. Have you ever been in a physical fight? If you don't count childhood, like, beating up on your sibling, then no. Turn on. Turn on? <laughs> Intelligence. I find intelligence incredibly sexy. Turn off. Ignorance. Mm, yeah. The reason I joined YouTube. Um, I've talked about this a lot, but it's basically I found myself talking to strangers in the makeup section at Target or the grocery store, and so my husband suggested that I maybe go to YouTube and do it so that I could reach more people and stop harassing complete strangers in public. Um, fears. Mm. I'm not really afraid of much, really. I'm afraid of falling a little bit, not heights, just the fall. So bungee jumping is not anywhere on my bucket list or zip lining. Um, but generally, I fear for my children, like anything, to, like this irrational fear that something is going to happen to them. Every time the phone, like if, this, if the phone rings and it's the school, I assume the worst. Whereas usually, like, the nurse's office saying your son is there and they have a headache and by law I have to tell you that. I'm like, don't call me unless there's major loss of blood or broken bones. Don't call me to tell me my kid has a headache. You freak me out. Okay. Um, 
where was I? Last thing that made you cry. Okay, this is so cheesy. <laughs> this is so bad. I can cry like that over meaningless stuff, important stuff, not so much. But um, the cheesy, the last reason, I think it was, I got teary-eyed, which isn't really crying, but I got teary-eyed when I, I was watching The Real Housewives of New York, and who would have thunk this, but um, is it Heather was talking about her, her, the health issues with her son, and I got a little emotional. You know, kids, that'll do it for you. Full on crying, like bawling, I don't, I'm sure, I think it was when I was reading a book, but I can't remember why. I don't cry often. Let's see, where was I? Last time you said you love someone. Hmm. It was either I was getting off the phone with my husband a couple hours ago. Did I tell him I loved him? I think I did. I say it so routinely that I don't even, he's flying home. He's been in Seattle and he had to lay over in Phoenix and he was, <laughs> I was talking to him. He was in the bathroom and he's whispering like, I'm in the bathroom. I said, who cares? You don't know anybody in Phoenix. Just talk to me on the phone. Um, so I think I said, I love you when we hung up. But for sure, I know that when my youngest son got out of the car for school this morning, I said, I love you. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name, not that original. It's, um, I did Ms. instead of Mrs. because it's sort of generic. It's not Miss, it's not Mrs. I just did Ms. And then Gold Girl, um, the first syllable in my last name is Gold. And then Girl, I don't know. It was a, alliteration. Last book you read. I am currently reading the first book in a series by Janine Frost and I'm just not getting into it. I can't even tell you. It's like halfway dead, halfway to the grave, halfway something. Halfway read because I just cannot freaking get into this book. Last show you watched. I just taped San Antonio Living because I was not going to be home while it was on and my friend Erin who you've seen on this channel a few times was on it this morning um, and she nailed it. She's so good. Last person you talked to was my husband. Yes. Is that the last person I talked to on the phone? Yeah. La the relationship between you and the person you last texted. She is a friend of mine. I was tech. well actually she texted me. So um, Natalie075 on YouTube, I'll link her channel below. Um, she had a question about Texas and sightseeing. So she texted me and I texted her back. That was cool. Favorite food? It would be hard to narrow it down to just one thing. I'd say if I had to have a last meal, it would be a cheese deep dish pizza from Lou Malnati's, followed by a cannoli. Um, place you want to visit? I really want to go back to Scotland. I know that sounds crazy, but I just loved it. I'd like to go to Ireland too. Last place you were, I imagine you mean outside of my house, uh, Target. Was that Target this morning? Do I have a crush? Well, I still have a little crush on my husband, I have to admit. I get a little tingle when I see him go by. Nothing like, you know, just, ooh, he's so cute. Um, last time you kissed someone. Well, I'm always kissing on the dogs, but I don't think that's what they're asking. When did he leave? He left Monday, today. probably Sunday night. Because usually my husband leaves before I wake up for work. So I'm not waking up to kiss him goodbye, I'm sorry. I like, kind of mumble, goodbye, I love you. It's too early. Um, last time you were insulted, I'm on YouTube. It's like a daily occurrence. It's I'm not even really insulted anymore. It's just sort of an eye roll, like, really? Um, kind of insulted, not insulted, but irritated. I got sent an email, I got an email today asking if I wanted to try menopausal products. Really? Not that there's anything wrong with going through menopause, but do you watch my channel? I'm 40. I, okay. Um, it's kind of funny though. It's more amusing. I haven't been insulted in a really long time. I think the last time I was insulted, somebody, it was somebody, you can tell how important it is, I can't even remember. Somebody on, I think it was Facebook, based, or, or YouTube, I can't remember where it was in the comments, basically insulted my integrity. They like insinuated that I was lying about something. I can't even remember what it was. And that, pardon my language, pissed me off because I, 
have many faults, but I pride myself on my honesty, and that, that insulted me. Um, favorite flavor of sweet? Just sugar, <laughs> like straight up sugar, like marshmallows and rock candy, that's the sugar candy, sugar, the crystallized sugar on a stick, love those, like the dots on paper. I'm trying really hard not to eat candy, I haven't had candy in a very long time, but if I did, it's just the really sugary stuff. Love it. Not a chocolate fan. I mean, I'll eat it, but I just like sugar. Oh, what instruments do you play? That would be a big fat zero. I don't play anything. I wish I did. Favorite piece of jewelry? Obviously, my wedding rings. Set. That, that's it. Uh, last sport you played? Ha! I watch sports. I'm an excellent sport watcher, but I do not play. I never was, I never played sport. Even as a kid, I played kickball. Um, I watched, I was at a track meet yesterday, watched my son run in circles. Uh, watch a lot of golf, not by choice. Watch a lot of football, watch some baseball. Do not play sports. Last song I sang, oh, this I know. I sang that, um, that happy song by, uh, Fer how do you say his name? Farrell, Farrell? Yeah, clearly my age is showing. I love singing it because it annoys the you know what out of my youngest son. He hates that song. He says it's overplayed. I love it. I can't play it enough and it makes him crazy. So of course I sing it as often as I can. Favorite chat up line? I don't know. I don't have, I think they're all irritating. So if you want to talk to someone, don't say something cheesy and stupid. Just talk. Um, I have no favorite chat up line. I think they're annoying. Um, have I ever used it? I've never tried to pick up anybody in my entire life. Uh, last time you hung out with anyone? Oh, I hung out with Erin yesterday. That was fun. She was shopping for a um, magazine shoot that she was styling. And so I met her at Neiman Marcus and um, I hung out with her while she picked out clothes. And um, that was really fun. It was very interesting and always need an excuse to hang out at Neiman Marcus. So that was, you know, surrounded by pretty clothes, pretty expensive clothes. And unfortunately, I left with one. It happens. I mean, I bought it. I didn't like, steal it. But there you go. Okay, I think we're almost done. And yes, who should answer these questions next? Anyone who wants to. I'm not going to make someone feel left out by starting to name names. So if you make videos, consider yourself tagged. Um, although I think I'm the last person in the world maybe to do it. So thank you so much for watching. Liz, please email me immediately. I want to send you your brushes. And um, I will be, there will be more videos in the Grown Ass Women series. I've just been taking a little break. Basically, I've just been waiting for someone to win the brushes so I can move on to the next one. And um, I think it'll be blushes. But I still have at least one more blush that I need to try before we talk about blushes. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And um, comment, love comments. I will answer you back. Subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Really would like to hit 40,000 subscribers for my 30th. 30th, 41st birthday, and I'm like this close. So please subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.